Hey guys, Jokin, I'm back here with another comic that just performed here at Barrel Proof Lounge. This is Mick Berry, right? Mick Berry, yeah. Mick Berry. Oh, Hi. man. I have to tell you, it was a strong set. It's a, I like coming here. It's, um, you're seeing a lot of comics today. You never know. Some comics get, could, you can see somebody gets their name and star on Hollywood Boulevard. Some comics get their name on the wall at the comedy store in LA. My name's in San Francisco on a bathroom wall in the Tenderloin. <laughs> I live in San Francisco, and the reason I come up here is it's really one of the best open mics I've found. Sunday afternoons at two, it's worth the drive every time. I heard, I heard good things about this place and figured, well, let me go check it out, but it's, like I said, it, it probably is the best open mic I've found. You know, and then the, sta the stage is just great that we're on now. The whole place is being run so well, you know. It's a comedy club right here in Santa Rosa. So I know Casey said he built this place that everybody that has a talent can come and cultivate that talent and, and nurture it here and be nurtured by everyone that's here. Do you have any kind words to people that want to perhaps think about doing stand-up? About Well, they definitely ought to do it. Uh, you don't want to just sit around and think about it. But keep this in mind. I was talking to a guy Mike Kaplan, who performed here one Sunday, I met him here. He was working in the Bay Area, and he's been on Letterman, I think, like five or six times, The Tonight Show one time. He's pretty big stuff, yeah. very funny guy. And then I saw him last January. I think that might have been the first time I was here, actually. And I told him I was getting back into it, and I was talking with him a little bit, and he said, "What?" and I said, I gotta, I gotta come up with new stuff. He said, how's it going? I said, well, you know, I'm, get, I'm, I'm building. I, I haven't got as much as I want, but I'm building. He said, well, you know, when Eddie Murphy was on Jerry Seinfeld, comedians in cars getting coffee, Jerry asked him about doing stand-up again, and Eddie said, yeah, but you know, I'd have to give it two years to be bad. So Mike said, if you're, you've been doing this at the time, it was like a little over a year. He said, if you feel you're getting somewhere, you're doing better than Eddie Murphy said he would. So <laughs> it's, it's, it takes a lot of patience, and you will have some great sets, and you think this is great material, and then you'll have another set, mm -hmm. not quite there. I talked to Robin, you know, I was doing stand-up ages ago, and I talked to Robin Williams about bombing, and I said, you know, it's hard for people to think, Robin, that you would ever bomb. He said, well, you know what it's like, I bomb, and I'm gonna bomb again. You know, hopefully, the better you get, you bomb less and less. Right. But when you're starting out, it's you need to find where the jokes are you need to find what makes you funny and how you and also to maintain and develop comp, develop and maintain composure on stage you know to feel comfortable in front of an audience yeah definitely and uh, i definitely from personal experience be in the moment yeah know, right let go of the outcome enjoy the process <laughs> Yeah, cause, you know, and some some crowds are going to be different than others. You know, what joke is going to land here is not going to land over here. You're going to learn to read the room and learn to read your crowd and have multiple jokes in your pocket. So if, if it's not flowing in this direction, you got yeah. backups. Yeah. And that's why you come here and work out those materials. Yeah, I was talking to, I don't know if you want me to mention her name, but I was talking to a comic, very prominent comic, and she was telling me, She'll get on stage and she'll have an eight minute bit. And if 30 seconds into it, it isn't working, she moves on to something else. Right. She just abandons that bit and goes on to something else. Yeah, yeah, that's about yeah. right. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. It's been a pleasure Thanks, meeting you and talking yeah, with you. Good Thank to meet you, you man. All right, Thanks my so friend. Much. Have a safe drive home.